I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to get started with Microsoft Teams. I have a new Office 365. As you see, there's no icon for Teams here. I'll go into Admin and find the option where I enable that. It's under here, under Settings and Apps. Down here, well, we'll find the Microsoft Teams. And by default, at this point at least, it's off. So I'm going to turn it on and then just save that. And eventually, the Teams app should show up in here in um, the list of my apps. But I haven't really seen that happening yet. So I'll show you how to work around that. But most likely, that will show up shortly. So I can simply type in Teams Microsoft com. I'm still, you know, logging in with the same Office 365 ID. So that's one of the benefit of using Teams. You'll also see that you have a desktop app here. Let's try that in a few seconds again. There we go. Now I'm ready. So let's have a, a team for all employees. I'll create a team. And then you can add people, groups, and distribution lists. So I'll add Antonio here. I'll add him to my team and I'll just click done for now. And I'll get this wizard. But let me just show you the general chat that's created here for all employees. So now it's just me and um, Antonio and this team, but I can just go ahead and start building a conversation. Hello world is a good way to start. There we go. So that's sent now to everybody. And of course, I can save these and I can like these. You can, of course, add smileys here. And on top of the regular smileys, you have also animations and videos and stuff like that, memes and all kinds of things that you can add to make this a bit more lively, I guess. You can also tag people. You do that within the same way that you do in SharePoint with the at symbol. So if you want to tag Antonio here, I'll do that by doing that. So now I've tagged him. And I just send by pressing enter. If I do send a link to the uh, website like that, you'll see that I get a little preview. So that's a um, bit more than a regular link. As you see up here in the chat, you can also share files with the people in this chat and just upload as you normally would. So I'll just do the five-year financial plan, upload that there. And of course, people can preview that. And you can also have a OneNote notebook within this chat. So um, it's rather flexible. And I hope that gives you an idea of how to get started with Microsoft Teams. Thank you for watching.